Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm your girl Katrina and today I'm jumping right in because we are doing full sublimation wraps on this 40 ounce Stanley Dew and of course a 20 ounce. So I'm going to show you how you can get the perfect sublimation full complete wraps. Now the last time I introduced this tumbler on my channel I sublimated the top and I sublimated the bottom and then I added some glitter in the middle. But I'm going to show you how you can completely wrap and sublimate the entire thing. Real simple and easy. I'm hoping it comes out perfect. And I'll show you how you can get a seamless sublimation on a 20 ounce. So I have everything laid out that I'm going to be using for today's project. I'll be starting with my Epson Ecotank 8550. This is converted. I do have a full video where I showed how I converted it using sublimation ink. I'm also going to be using my sublimation oven from Heat Transfer Warehouse. I prefer the oven when I'm doing tumblers, but you can use a mug press as well. I don't like stopping and rotating and all that, so I prefer the sublimation oven. I'm using a sub sublimation paper. Today I'm going to be using the 11 by 17 size. Of course, you'll need heat shrink bags, heat shrink bags, heat resistant tape, and a heat gun. That is all you need. Also a scissor or a little cutting board. But because this is round, for this one I'm probably going to have to cut it out by hand and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So the template that I'm going to be using to have this full sublimation wrap, I got it off of Etsy. I downloaded it because I couldn't find it anywhere else. I even looked for it on Creative Fabrica, but I could not find the full part because I wanted that middle part in order to sublimate. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into desktop mode so that way I can show you the template, how I size it, how I put my design inside of it, and then we're going to print it out. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe if you find today this video helpful also it helps me to keep making content like this I do post weekly tutorials on how to start and grow your business and fun DIY projects let's go all right so I'm in silhouette studios designers edition and this is the template that I got from Etsy I downloaded it this one the top part measures by ten and a half by five point seven eight this is that middle circumference that you're gonna need this one measures at 3.8 by about 8.8 .8 itself and the bottom part is already curved um, this one measures at around 3.6 by 10.5 all right so these are and should be the perfect sizes for the tumbler wrap okay but we're gonna see because this is the first time I actually downloaded it all right so now I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my file all right so here is my nice background marble design that I'm gonna do and I'm gonna just cut it and bring it over onto this page. Here is my design over here. So I have all these three pieces that I need to fit onto here, right? So I'm just gonna like kind of put it in a position where I want it. Let's kind of do it like that, all right? So I have it like this. Um, now if I see, I put this over here, it's still not big enough, right? So I'm just gonna stretch this out just a little bit. Let's put it all, I don't wanna stretch the pattern out too much. I'm just gonna bring it in. And I'm just going to make this just a little bit bigger. All right. Now what I'm going to do is bring all of this forward. I'm going to bring all of this forward. Or you can either bring that one back. Right click. And I'm going to bring to the front. So now if I move it, it's on top of that. Right. So what I want to do is I want to cut out the shapes on this pattern. But I need to change this color. I need to change this color. So let's just go ahead to the color picker it doesn't matter I'm just gonna pick any color and now I'm gonna place it on top of this right making sure all the shapes fit in the side all over to the middle so now what I want to do is I want to come over here to the right hand side and I'm gonna open up the trace panel I'm gonna open up the trace panel so I'm gonna click on select trace area I'm gonna draw a box around the entire thing and let's see what happens now as you see it's not really tracing out anything, right? The yellow parts are what gets traced out. So now what I wanna do is I wanna select the blue marble piece and I'm going to go back to the color tool and I'm going to bring down the transparency. I'm gonna bring down the transparency, right? There we go and I'll tell you why in a second. So now I'm gonna select the trace panel again, select trace area. I'm gonna select the entire thing and now let's see what happens. Let's bring up, there we go. So now 
all the yellow, the exact shapes that I have that I want is now selected. So now I'm going to trace and detach. I want to trace and detach. I'm going to click that. So now when I remove it, look what happens. Look what happens. Remove the red pieces. Now I'm going to click the black, the blue, and now I'm moving that right now. Now I'm going to select it back, go back to the color panel, and I'm going to bring back the transparency. That's how you get your patterns cut out in the exact shape for your tumbler. Now I'm pretty sure there's different ways, but this is the easiest method that I found in order to be able to do this. All right. So now I have my exact shapes that I need to cut out for my tumbler. All right. I have my arch and everything. Okay, perfect. So now whatever images or logos or names you want to put on here, you can go ahead and put it in right in, in space. So now I can just go ahead and delete this because I don't need that. I can turn these back white if I want, um, but I'll definitely save these for the next time I have the next Tumblr. All right. So now I'm just going to import my logos. So I'm going to place my backgrounds on my 11 by 17 paper, make sure it all fits perfectly. And I'm going to line up my logos exactly where I want them. I'm going to center them and I'm going to flip the whole thing horizontally and send to print. Okay. So here's the other designs. I got these designs from creative Fabrica, the backgrounds. So the person wants this one. This one measures. So if you want to know the perfect measurement for a 20 ounce tumbler, measurements are right here on the screen, 9.303 by 8.203. So if you don't have a template, all you gotta do is just make a box that shape, that size. Okay. No matter what program you're using, just make the size for that template. So now I'm just going to go ahead and change my paper size for letter. Um, all I did, I already grouped it cause I already had it together. So ungroup, all I did was type out a nice font, put the name in and I sized it and stretched it to fit in the middle. And you can make your word stretch however big, however small, long that you want. Okay. So I'm just making sure it's straight. All right. So I'm gonna leave it like that and I'm going to group it, right click group and flip horizontally. Cannot forget to flip horizontally. All right. And that fits on there just like so. And now I'm going to go ahead and print that out and send that to the printer. Now I have to make sure I switch my paper side because I had an 11 by 17. So I'm going to switch it back to the letter size letter, and I'm going to always switch it to borderless. So that way I know I'm not cutting off any of my image. Okay. So now I'm going to send to the printer. Right. As you can see, it's really close to the edge. So it's really key that you make sure that you're printing borderless. So I'm printing my image right here from the front, hoping that I have everything positioned on the correct side. Look at those colors looking really good. Okay. So this was Cosmos ink and that looks really good. And now I'm going to print out my second image. Now first, let's see if I did it on the correct side for the logo, for the logo placement. All right, so this is the right side of the mug. I want to make sure that the logo, yes, 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 yes. Perfect, perfect. So that is going to supplement right there. And I have some extra over. I'm assuming some of the tumblers don't have the silver brim. So mine does. So that's perfect but it comes all the way down. Okay. I thought it was going to, you know, stretch a little bit further over. I would have done, um, I would have put it closer. Now I could do it again and stretch it, but I'm going to cut this out just to see if this is a perfect, because I want to make sure it meets. If this doesn't meet all the way around then I am going to have to cut it out again. I don't want to gap. So I'm cutting out this last piece and hoping that it fits perfectly in place. And I'm going to go ahead and remove the handle. So the handle is out of the way. And this right here, this is going to be the front side of the tumbler, the front. So this 
that actually is a perfect meat a perfect meat but because of how I have the name positioned I need to do it again because the name is on a slant so I need to push position the name upward upward so I'm gonna go ahead and reprint that and bring it over just a little bit more bring it over just a little bit more let's see if I need to adjust this which I'm pretty sure I do because I want that to meet as well so I need to fully make that larger all right so what I'm gonna do is from right here in the middle all the way around all the way around and I need it to be about 12 and a half inches 12 and a half inches all the way around let's double check this okay let's see moment of truth and that is perfect that's perfect okay so let's go ahead adjust this and adjust the name so i resized it to about 12 and a half inches long and reprinted it so these are the new templates as you can see the difference in size this one is much longer so let's see if it all fits now okay And as you can see, now it meets completely. Now it meets. I am gonna cut off a little bit more. I just wanna make sure, so that's completely in front where I want it. Cut off just a little bit more of the edge. I'm gonna bring this all the way up to the edge right here. That's what I'm going to do, making sure that's nice and straight. And I'm going to just cut a small little slit. Cut a small slit. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put the, um, this part on next. So what I'm gonna to try to do is line up that name with the logo so I can make sure that that's kind of centered. I've gotta bring this down to make sure it meets perfectly. And look at that, that meets perfectly. The name is straighter this time I need to, the Y ends right here. So I'm just gonna rotate it just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and take that. So that's perfect. So you see, now we still have that gap underneath. That gap is still underneath. So here I am trimming away at all the extra um, sublimation paper, trying to make that middle part fit. But what I realized is I should have placed the middle part first. So don't do like I did, learn from my mistakes, do the middle part first. Okay, so I did remove the other piece. So let's go ahead and put this on here because it was not laying perfectly. And even though this is right here, I'm gonna go ahead and just line this up with this seam. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna line it up with that scene. Making sure all the lines meet, okay? Guys, that seems to meet perfectly. Make sure you tape up your tumblers real tight and secure, pull it as close as you can. You want all the seams to be met. So I'm just making sure nothing is out of place, there's no gaps, so that way we can get a perfect sublimation. All right, and now I'm gonna tape up the top again and this time it should be easy because i already did it now everything fits in place perfectly in those little notches that i cut out it goes right over that little handle groove so that way it comes together seamlessly for a full sublimation wrap and now i'm gonna add the heat shrink bag so we have a full full tumbler wrap let's see how this comes out all right, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one as well.
and I'm gonna hit my hot air button. I'm gonna set this to 195 and I'm gonna preheat it for six minutes. And now I'm gonna put these in the heat shrink bags. You wanna to try to get a heat shrink bag that fits as close to the size of the tumbler. You can get these from Heat Shrink for Warehouse as well, or anywhere heat shrink bags are sold. <laughs> So this one is specifically for the 20 ounce. So it's okay, there we go. This one is for 20 ounce and 30 ounce. I found one. A much wider one. There we go. Make sure I get it over. Perfect fit, perfect fit. All right, make sure it's in the middle. And let's heat it up. And tight. Now I have the silicone band. I'm just going to add around here to the bottom. We'll see if I can stretch it to the middle part just because I want to make sure I get a nice, nice seal. I'm going to take out this middle rack. I'm gonna take out this middle rack because I don't need it. I'm gonna put these in here. Now I've supplemented up to nine tumblers in here, 20 ounce. So you can fit a lot in here if you're laying them down. So I'm gonna put this on 12 minutes. All right, there we go. 12 minutes on the clock. Okay, it just stopped. I'm gonna take them out. Y'all can see those colors all the way around. Ooh, we gotta let that cool down. So we're gonna let this cool down and then we're going to take it off. All right, moment of truth. We are about to unwrap these. I know I'm gonna start with this one first, right? This one was the easier one. So we're gonna just speed this up and unwrap them both. That looks good that looks perfect that's how that one looks no ghosting no ghosting <laughs> all right let's take off the next one okay so y'all see that little part right there Oh Lord, this thing is on here so tight. Let's see if we can find another spot. Ooh, ooh, top is looking good. Top is looking good. I'm nervous. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Guys, guys, guys. Holla at your girl. <laughs> Ooh, holla at your girl. Look at that. Look at that. Now, only thing I don't like is that my lines are off. Ooh, I really should have did better. 
um, but I was trying to get the name perfect. That's what I was aiming for, that name to be lined up perfectly. But other than that, I got a little space where you can see the white, but it doesn't look that bad only because of the fact that, all right, so I got little, I mean, small imperfections, small imperfections, but overall, um, the handle is going to hide some of that. Um, and I did the thing. I did the thing. So you can see like small, small things. But let me see what I can do. Like, let me just see what I can do. I could either put a black band around that to hide that, like literally, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to leave it just like that and, um, and go with it. But completely no ghosting whatsoever. No ghosting. No ghosting. Almost perfect. Almost perfect. But for my first one, that is not bad. All right, let's put the handle back on. And there you have it. There you have it. This could have been over just a little bit more. But all in all, it looks good. It looks good. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I'm happy. And I hope Barney will be happy too. So I'm just going to go ahead, clean these up. Sometimes you have just a little bit of residue from the heat shrink bag. But I am so happy. So I'm glad I kept the paper above the silver part because it allowed me to get the perfect seamless line all the way around. So had I cut it, I probably would have risked, you know, having a little bit of the white show through. So next time I'll know exactly what to do because... This was my first time doing the full sublimation wrap, you know, all the way, removing the handle, getting the closure all the way inside. And you can't even see where I cut. You cannot see where I cut because the handle covers that up. So all you can see is sublimation, the print underneath. So the only thing wrong with this tumbler is that the lines don't match up. And I only did it that way because I was trying to line up the name. So next time I will definitely get that 100% right. So that's how I do my full sublimation wraps in my sublimation oven. I like them better. They come out much smoother as opposed to in the um, mud press because sometimes if you put them in the mud press, if you press them too hard, they don't come out as smooth. I'm not sure if you guys know what I mean. If that's ever happened to you where you can feel a difference in the texture, let me know. The pressure is so key when doing it in a mud press. But with the sublimation oven, if you use the shrink sleeve bags, it comes out perfect and smooth. These are 100% permanent and washable. You can put these in the dishwasher. They are dishwasher safe. So you can pick up these sublimation blanks from Heat Transfer Warehouse, all various different sizes, along with the sublimation oven and the shrink sleeve bags as well. Guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, leave your comments, questions down below, and I'll get back to you. And I'll see you in the next video. Happy sublimation.